Hey everybody, it's me, Ned, and you're never going to guess, but I've got another new wine that I'm really excited about to drink. Um, so I'm picking up a new portfolio called the Piedmont Guy. Um, yeah, this, this, whole, this, this whole little segment is all just going to be stuff that's blindingly obvious. So I've got a new wine I'm excited about. It's from a portfolio called the Piedmont Guy, which only deals with Piedmont wines, Piedmontese wines from northern Italy. Um, so this is Luigi Giordano. Um, this is a fourth generation family winery uh, in the Longue in Barbaresco, uh, founded by Luigi back in, he was Luigi, back in uh, 1930, um, to grow grapes and sell them. Uh, his son made the jump to bottling wine themselves in 1960. Um, now they're fourth generation and they have land in a lot of really fantastic, like particular single vineyard crews in Barbaresco. So Asili, um, Cavana, um, I don't even know. This is this is a whole new world for me, getting into more particular kind of serious um, Nebbiolo from the Longue. That is super pretty. It's um, very clear. I can see through it really easily. Um, I'd call it ruby red. Uh, not super dark. Almost, almost like it has like a tiny bit of, you know, like brick to the nail, but not, not quite yet. But I, you know, I can tell that like with a little bit more aging, it'll probably get there. Um, 2015, so it was an awesome kind of ripe, hot vintage. Um, mm. uh, Nebbiolo is kind of like, it's, it suffers from sort of the same reputation as Pinot Noir. It's got this outsized reputation. Probably can't tell, see the color at all against my, my running sweatshirt. Um, Nebbiolo Barbara and from Barbaresco and Barolo have this fantastic, you know, like really sought after reputation, which a lot of people have conflated in their minds with like big, powerful bruisers, but that's not what Nebbiolo really typically is. Nebbiolo is actually more often like a really, you know, pretty, elegant, layered, complex wine. It's really floral. It's, it's like roses, almost unripe, like tart cherries. Mm. Um, very fresh, almost, you know, like, like tart raspberries as well. Mm. It's really pretty and elegant on the palate. Um, it does not have aggressive tannins to it. It's, it's like clean, clear, focused, smooth, you know, like, like a really early summer day, very early in the day in Maine where... It's not humid. The sun is like brilliant and like clear and just illuminating everything. But the air is the air like the air is just it's the perfect temperature. It's cool. It's comfortable. Um, you know, there's no humidity yet. It's that kind of like when I say clear and pure, like that's what I'm talking about in the wine. That it's just the flavors are so crisp and clear, like, like the, talking about it, like if it was a, a photograph or something, like the resolution is just perfect. So you can, it's like, you can taste everything very clearly. Just 
My mustache is out of control today. Sorry. Um, it's got just a tiny bit of like a woodsiness. I don't know if this was aged in older oak barrels at all or whether whether there was some, whether there were some stems or something like contact. It doesn't seem like stems because it's not like green or unripe at all and honestly it doesn't actually really taste like like oak to me. It could just be the character of the Nebbiolo. Um, but it's just, it's like a tiny bit like woodsy, like woodsy in a like forest, like fresh cut, cut wood kind of way. Not, not like sweet oak tannins from a, from a barrel. There's an undercurrent, you know, like a, a supporting actor of like salinity in the wine that like gets my, uh, my mouth watering, my taste buds going. It's a really pretty, really excellent, medium-bodied, long wine, which is really, like, true to Barbaresco, because Barbaresco should be a prettier, you know, like, more elegant expression of Nebbiolo. It says it's 13.5% alcohol here. Um, it almost tastes like it might be a tiny bit less. Like, it doesn't taste light and thirst quenching in the way that like really low alcohol wines do, but I don't really taste the alcohol at all. Um, this is really goddamn excellent, really delicious wine. And really impressive that they did this in 2015, which was a hotter vintage. It's just so balanced, it's so elegant, it is so drinkable, you know, pulling the cork right now, which is you know, not what you expect Nebbiolo to be. This is so accessible and it's just really like classic, traditionally correct for like this place and the the traditions of Barbaresco. Um, I'm actually super impressed right now. This is excellent. This is delicious. I'm going to shut up and I'm going to go eat this pasta that I just made with um, tomatoes from my garden. Uh, this will be around town for under $20. Seriously, this kicks ass. Like, really, you, sh you should go check this 